to the people of Malaya, I say, do your duty to your country. To obtain independence is far less difficult than to maintain it. I demand from you sacrifices and undivided loyalty to your country. We should aim for social globalization with diversity and respect for each other's culture and religion. We should use wisdom for taking whatever it is good in other culture and avoid what we consider to be otherwise. This is what is meant by unity with diversity. To try to impose our own culture on all other nations is wrong way for bringing about social globalization. What is social globalization? Social globalization refers to transmission of ideas, meaning, and values around the world in such a way as to extend and intensify social relations. Cultural globalization involves the formation of shared norms and knowledge with which people associate their individuals and collective cultural identities. There is no denying of constant reforms, tolerance, and mutual respect. Malaysia is a multicultural society of which the population is made up. Different types of ethnic group includes Malay, Chinese, Indian, and the native. In fact, different ethnic groups have their own history, culture, belief, value, and language. However, Malaysia has faced racial and ethnic tension due to the socio-economic and cultural differences after the independence of Malaysia in 1957. This racial conflict has led to the development of several government policies such as new economy policy and national development policy. Having realized the importance to maintain and enhance the unity among people of different ethnic the One Malaysian concept was introduced in 2009 under the notion of One Malaysia concept of people first. Performance now, the government is trying to promote unity in the society by considering fair distribution and access in the economy in the country. It is therefore very important to promote One Malaysia concept and encourage the acceptance of the citizen of Malaysia. The national language which is Malay has been the most important means of linking the nation together. English is widely used in schools as a medium of instruction, but Malay remains the official language and also used as medium of instruction especially in government-owned school. Other commonly spoken languages include Mandarin by Chinese and Tamil by the Indians and numerous regional languages. Culture is essential to set up an order and regulation in the society. It does not only a mean the way people communicate, but also creates a feeling of belonging and togetherness amongst people in the society. Every society has various culture, where a specific language, traditions, behavior, perception, and belief is shared among the people. Culture provides them an identity that makes them distinctive and different from people of other culture. When people of different culture migrate and settle in a new society, the culture of the society turn out to be the dominant culture and for the immigrants from the subculture of the community. Usually, people who settle in their nation stay in a new culture, while at the same time struggle to conserve their own. Even though every society has a different culture, there are the certain basics of culture that are universal. The physical features and geographical location of the past 
and current of Malaysia influence how the people and the region live and contributes to the way they interact with each other. This applies equality to event at the local as well as the nation level which tends to explain why some features of Malaysian culture continue to be significant and be maintained. Malays has been found as far as Africa. They are the majority race in Malaysia, comprising of more than half percent of Malaysia's populations. Malays are Muslims, born of their Malay father and native speaker of Malay language. They are also called Bumi Putra, the native people. Malaysia, Malay adopted the Arabic writing system and indigenized it and renamed it in as Jawi. The Tranganu stone which describe the obedience to Allah and his law. It's thought to be the oldest Malay text in Arabic script dating back to the 14th century. Malay subject have the divine duty never to be disloyal to their rulers, even if they behave unfairly or are unjust to them. In this system, the ruler is subject only to God. Malay are considered very gentle due to their warmth, dignity, and politeness. This attitude and inherent belief from their rulers enabled Malay to be accommodating and which obviously reflect in the way their country being governed. This approach and way of life has enabled them to progress more than expected when compared with other countries th that they got independence in the same period. Chinese are the second largest ethnic group most descendant immigrants during 19th century. Different dialects are spoken such as Hokkien, which is mainly spoken in the northern part of Minang. Cantonese in Kuala Lumpur, there are other dialects like Tu Chao and other small dialects. Mandarin is widely used in the southern state. Malaysia Chinese culture are drawn from the culture of their ancestor, Taoism, Confucianism, embedded in this culture are core values that are compatible with those advocated by various religions and societies. These values are derived from the teachings and philosophy of Confucianism and many others by blending with elements from local culture. Thus, Chinese culture has produced features that are uniquely Malaysia. The Chinese trade with Malays for centuries then settled in numbers during 19th century. When word of sea spread across China, the Chinese regarded as businessmen of Malaysia. Most Chinese are Tao Buddhists and retain strong ties to their ancestral homeland. Kyung, 2007. Indian is the smallest of three major groups of this Malaysia ethnic group population. 
They brought with them Hindu and Sikh culture, unique temples, spicy cuisine, colorful garments, ornaments, and many others. Indian had been visiting Malaysia for many years without settling until the 19th century. Hindu tradition remains strong until today in the Indian community of Malaysia. And there is also a mixture called Chiti community in Malacca similar to Baba Anyonya. It is the result of the assimilation between the Indian immigrants and local culture. Through the remain Hindu, the Chiti speaks Bahasa Melayu and their women dress in sarong kebaya instead of saris. However, other Indian Hindus retain their vernacular language and dialects. Sabah Sarawak Sabah population is heterogeneous and culturally diverse with more than 30% ethnic race and over 80 local dialects spoken. Origins of the ethnic group are charming explained and all still that originally originate agents and history and its legacy from Sabah, oldest people. The third speak of place called Nunuk Pragang, the original Sabahan's Garden of Eden, somewhere in the heart of Sabah. A river ran through it with a Nuhuk or Banyan tree on its bank. The native children love to play in, in the river and climb the huge branch of the Banyan tree to sun themselves which is how true Sabahans got the golden glow on their skin. People live happily together and multiply. Very soon, Nunuk Ragang got too crowded. Families had to room out in search of a place to live. Some went across valley plains and settled as a farmer, while others made their way up to the highlands and learned to hunt and wrap the bound jungles. Some trekked as far as the east coast and settled there. And that was how the people spread across the land. Many of the ethnic groups share a similar, similar oral history, language and tradition. However, lack of communication due to rock terrains has resulted in the evolution of many dialects in common language, different dress styles, craft and cultures. The largest indigenous ethnic group is Kadazan Dusun, followed by Bajau and Murut. Tradition and custom has long been part of Sabahan's daily life. One will normally ask what kind of people live in this land of eco treasures. Often, by further in understanding their spectrums of cultures, one will find the answer as, as all types, colors, and creeds. All these ethnic groups live together harmoniously while at the same time preserving their own culture, traditions, festival, and custom to make Sabah multicultural and exotic experience unlike any other that you might have already experienced. Okay, so this video brought to you by Haris uh, Ali Imran and special shout out to uh, Dr. Elmi Barudin for give us opportunity to elaborate about culture and society in Malaysia. So the point is, I've seen a lot of uh, different issues in, in, in Malaysia. So hence, I would like to highlight the, the conclusions of this uh, documentary. Uh, it's been a lot of things happening, it, uh, happens in Malaysia in this, especially during the pandemic. And I hope that this is the chance for uh, each and every society try to uh, built in altogether either you are Chinese, either you are Malay or Indian or even others you can just blend in together and prevent this kind of uh, uh, unnecessary fights you know because we live as a community we strive as as a community we have our, our own rights to stand up for our, our culture but since we are all together in one place we should try to respect each other, try to respect their culture, their religion, and and of course, try to learn their language because it is not, uh, it is, it is, uh, difficult to see uh, around the globe because not everybody could accept the differences in the community. Hence, I would 
say that the the gate to success is not because of uh, this culture are uh, uh, better than the other culture. It is actually because of the other culture helps with other culture. We blend in together, and we able to create and generate uh, from the culture and provide the success step uh, ahead, and our, our country become beautiful in the in the future.